back everybody to Hogwarts this Legacy and today we'll get some flying lessons super stoked give me a broom no fly like a champ I think we'll fall from their broom. Everybody grab a broom and we shall get started. Mr. Clotten, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Welcome. Hello. 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 The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely. As broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Hey. Not a fan, I take it? Now, How'd let's you get? see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, who wouldn't step practice up this? to your broom, the say up, firmly and clearly, then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up! Thank you. Welcome. Now, your turn. Up! Up! Up, you stupid ratty school broom! Up! Got it, coach. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. What are you looking at? You're on flipping berm. What's he looking at? And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Why? Good. Now, for your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. The brooms are school property. I want them returned in one piece. Wish I had my own broom. <laughs> this is brilliant. Done. Easy. Well done. Thank now you. that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? Like what? What are we doing? This next set of rings R2, will take fly you speed. the grounds for more of a challenge. What a view! <laughs> Hello. Nice day for a flight. It is a beautiful day for a flight. <sighs> that wasn't too bad. Not the best flyer ever. Oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as the first year. Is that they come like every year they come through in a different way. Whoa, our aquatic resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. It's an octopusy. Ah. Sounds cool. This is rather fun. Not the best. Oh, where I am. Well done. Thank you. Thank moment. you very much. Yep. Well, girl. I say, oh. I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Absolutely. We haven't properly met. 
I'm Everett Clopton. Everett Am Clopton. I right in suspecting that a Gryffindor like you might be interested in a high flying adventure? Uh, yes. Can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. Where are we going? The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the Headmaster isn't you happy to like by idiot. the window today. Where are we going? Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Yes. Woo! Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is Everett flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. <laughs> Now that's more like Knew it. it. You sure you're not part hippogriff? There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? It's beautiful. Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. Uh, hell is that noise? This concludes our tour. Best hurry back. I'm coming. Looks like she's already dismissed cars. Better hurry and hand in our brooms. Dismount here. Where? Here? Got it, coach. And where have you two been? Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I'm disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor Enough. Class is finished for the day. Like what respect do you give to your broom? As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. Thank you. I'm the best. Sorry about that business with Kagawa, but you have to admit those views were worth it. Uh, I have no regrets. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps after purchase a broom, then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spint, which is in Hogsmeade. Broke He's always kid. looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. All right. Quest complete. Now what? Should we go buy a broom? I think we should buy a broom. We're gonna go buy a broom. I've not oh. forgotten about our library venture. How did you fare? If you're keen uh. for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. Uh. Good day to you. I require assistance with a delivery. Oh, and thought you might be interested. Please visit me at J. Pippin's Potions if you'd like to earn a few coins. Please meet me in the seventh floor corridor oh as soon God. as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies, away from prying eyes and distractions. Ooh. I think we're going to go do that. Someone was sat by the fire in our common room. Actually, we're going to do a room. We're going to go by a room. We're going to go by a room. 
Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Yeah. Um. If I thought I could complete this door, I don't think. Is it this door? Ah, oh, new face. It is. Wonderful. Hello, Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. I had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned. Thankfully, with inventory. I presume you're in the market for we a got new brew? some inventory. Got a few rare U weavers available. Ember dash, silver arrows. Wind wisps, too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. Uh... Whatever. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. What are we looking for today? I don't know. Uh, Amber Dash, the perfect broom for those with a fiery temperament. Uh, Hogwarts House Broom, a broom enchanted to celebrate your particular Hogwarts House pride. Moon Trimmer Broom, finally crafted from ash. The broom is built for stability. Wind Wisp, a stylish broom with a light touch, quite literally. And then Ye Weaver Broom, a comfortable and speedy broom with a unique woven design. That item is of the highest quality. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That item is of the highest quality. That one looks pretty cool. That item is of the highest quality. That item is of the highest quality. I don't know. We'll just get this one. You'll be thrilled with that broom. I promise you. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, just whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they right. all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements. Go yeah, on. Sure. <laughs> Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Rays, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. No shit. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? Sure. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Rays will sort you out. Already? Once you beat Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. You steal your shit first. All right. I can't help but admire Mr. Weeks' enthusiasm. I'm coming. I mean, I can't fly there. It'd be so much easier. I wish the headmaster. hadn't cancelled it, we wouldn't be looking for the blasted thing Come in the on. first place. Where are you? Rebellion. Say it wrong.
Hey you, Gryffindor. What up, Gryffindor? Amelda Rays? Albie Week sent me. <laughs> Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique, and that was the end of that. The nerve. Why is he roping the you nerve. into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. Uh, yeah, you sound jealous. Seems someone's jealous of my skills on a broom. Me, Slytherin Quidditch captain, jealous of you. Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers, and bumbling baboons. But for some reason, now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. You're not even Slytherin. Could be a useless squib for all I know. Enough of this. Only one way to find out who's the better flyer. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Okay, Slytherin okay. versus Gryffindor. Now let's go. Actually, why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. Slash straight. Meh, meh. Jesus. I don't know how to redo this one. Turn around. I got a penalty for missing? I feel like I need to invert. thing glad to see I'm still the reigning champion but what say you want to try again uh, yes ready when you are Tougher than I thought I was going to be. Success. 
Easy go to No, oh, uh, not down. Oh, up. Uh. Find it. Go, 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 go. Phew. Beat you, bitch. Oh, did anyone else see that? I'm the best. Told you. Ugh, that's not. You, you must have cheated. You. Ah. Fine. You won. <sighs> Don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Surely my win means something. Eh, you're not terrible, but you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. I just beat your time. Okay. Challenge accepted then. Perhaps you have what it takes after all. We shall see. But don't we get your see. hopes up. The next course near Irondale offers a much tougher challenge. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Albie Weeks. Uh... Oh, that dude, someone did it in a minute 32. I suspect Mr. Weeks will be glad to hear how I found Wants me to hear I there. come. Let's talk to Mr. Weeks. Oh no. Move it, host. Oh, you're back. We've something to report. Ah, uh, yes. Mr. Weeks, I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible! Wasn't Miss it? Ray's must have been shocked. Tell me, how was the broom? A little turbulent, and it's wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Mm. That's precisely what I needed to know. Is it? Drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. Even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my works had potential all along. Uh, okay. yeah. I'm excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Expect to hear from me soon. Okay. Hmm. How to address the issue of altitude as it relates to speed? I hear it. Practices of the dark arts should stick to fighting the race for a thousand When you find a good opportunity, it's wise to seize it with both hands. Whatever. Of right. it is. Let's go talk to She's right. Blabber and Weasley. Well, it's their own fault for taking it. Where are we going? All right. What is this one about? I don't know. Professor Weasley. Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. Behind a curtain. No. Oh. Would you look at that? Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Thank you. 
Shall we? Off to you, Professor. What a gentleman. What is this place? This is the womb of requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. Mm -hmm. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Because I'm now, the best. where is Deke? Hmm, he must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. I move it. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Sounds good. Oh, got it. I bet it is good. Now, cast Evanesco. Excellent Fuck work. Off. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss Damn. its uses later. Let's go. I got on. a lot of Moonstone. Why are you talking about it? Where in Merlin's name is that elf? I don't know. Is that goodness? Rebellion. My old school bag. I Ooh. wondered where that had got to. I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Okay. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. Don't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. Shut up, Hill. Love you. Get up there. I'm going to jump up the hill. I'm going to open that. Rebellion. Whatever. Oh, huh. cup of tea. Hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. An intruder! Stop them! Shut up, nerd. No, not uh, that's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin. Uh, bit of an in room thought I needed a bath. <laughs> Ready. How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? Revelio. What was that? Was that a golden stitch? I don't know. Was it? Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. What do we got? Oh, if I was thought I was stuck for a minute. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Maybe. Hmm. 
I hope that house elf can find us in here. Well, this is probably something. Oh, found him. Yikes! Careful! Huh? Oh, there you are. Wait right there. Deke will come to you. Hello. Ah, oh, Deke. We've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Indeed. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. Okay. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep-seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. Okay. Oh. Oh. Well. Okay. You've given yourself quite a canvas to work with. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, thank you. And it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. Mm hmm. You have unlocked the desk of tradition user to reveal magical properties of any unidentified gear that you have plugged in. Well, I just happen to have two things. Yeah. Charcoal lock scarf and ornate juniper gloves. Oh. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. Let me so. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes. The magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Good. Bam, got it. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Okay. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? 
While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, oh. you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can Good indeed. question. Hmm. Quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plants and brew potions in class. Okie dokie. And... I would use to brew potions. Furniture, tables, seating, statues, seasonal decorations. Uh, more decorated, one on the table. What was I supposed to do? I forgot already. Uh, same to botany, chair, gothic desk. Conjure a potty table and a potion station. No. No. Scientific putting table. Small pot. Conjure a putting table, conjure a potions table. I don't know. They're perfect for growing a plant that requires a small pot. They're perfect for growing a plant when it requires a small pot. Where do I put it? Potion table. Small botanical, small logical. Just keep with that thing, I guess. Well done. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. I've collected a lot. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. Uh, I like to know more about Deke. The transfiguration magic anywhere. Can I use this type of transfiguration magic outside of the room? Conjuring and vanishing are strictly forbidden elsewhere in the castle. We've charms in place to enforce that. It would be exhausting to reverse the errors in both judgment and magic. But the room of requirement has its own rules. Hmm. 
Thank you. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. Um. Oh. Room of Requirements. Um, what do you guys say? I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some moonstone. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the room of... Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. Um, I have a poop turn. I have the moonstone you requested, Professor. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? Okay. Conjure. What else we got? I don't have anything neat. Boom. That's great. All right. I love it. What's that? Professor, I have some questions about conjuration. Yes? What item should I conjure? How do I remove conjure? Yeah. Actually, I don't think I have any questions. Figure it out myself. I'm here if you do. Conjure all decorations. Conjure floor decorations. Oh. Alright. So... I think we'll end this one here. We got our broom. We got our special room. We learned how to conjure some shit. We can make potions. We can make other things. But yeah, that's it. So until next time, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, and check you later. Peace.